Hey guys, what's up? It's Anna and welcome to my world. It is nighttime and I just got done opening the new crystals that are going to be in my crystal shop rose and quartz tomorrow and I just had to share these with you, do a little unboxing, pull them out of the box here. I literally just got them and and i'm honestly so excited to show you guys so if you guys want to see a lot of pretty new crystals i even have a fossil in here to throw into the mix and even my first 0.925 sterling silver crystal rings to add in my shop then make sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave and hit that bell notification so that you can be notified every time i upload a new video that being said let's hop right on in all right you guys so the very first little crystal i am going to show this guy i'm just going to get it out of the way it's the cutest little fluorite moon um but the tip of it unfortunately did come off it like broke off but i had glue so i glued it back together there's like one little glue mark but it was a perfect cut so unless you're looking at it up close you can't tell that it was you know broken thankfully but it's the prettiest fluorite moon because look at the pattern like when i say patterning like the um the bands the fluorite bands are super pretty super super pretty in this in this little moon it's broken it was broken right up there i don't know if you're gonna be able to tell you may but anyway, in my shop, that one is going to be knocked off $1.99. Yeah, off of it for that because it is glued back together, like I said, perfect cut. But I just wanted to get that one out of the way. Now, I am so excited. The next one I have is a little mini gold sheen obsidian spear. Now, you can see the gold sheen um, barely. Well, you're probably not going to be able to on camera. I was going to say you can see it without the light, but when the light is on it, uh, so much more intense and i'm going to do an overlay for you guys because you have got to see the beautifulness of this gold sheen obsidian but like i said gold sheet obsidian sphere super super cute and nice all spheres do come with a free hematite ring stand to display them on so that's a plus and next keeping it with obsidian this is just a regular obsidian but we have this cute little obsidian heart I did take requests of um, certain crystals that people wanted to see in my shop and a lot of people said some more black ones. Usually like the darker color crystals, it's kind of weird, don't do as well. But then people were recommending them so I got some and I'm actually literally so obsessed with the gold sheen obsidian. I love it. Alright, next I do have a raw crystal this time. This right here you guys is Spalarite. Spalarite is super cool. Ooh, look you can already see the sparkles. With the light on, well, and without the light, because you guys are seeing that right now, this baby shines like diamonds. Makes me think of Rihanna, shine bright like a diamond, but it really does. This is just full of druzy. It's a nice big piece of spalerite. Super cool. I've not even had my hands on a spalerite piece before, so it's super cool. Like I said, super, super shiny just full of that gorgeous freaking sparkle this one's beautiful and i love like the layout of it how it grew because this one's rough it's raw it this is exactly how it grew from mother nature so we love that i love it i love it all right next is the cutest little lapis lazuli tower so lapis lazuli a very cool name for a very cool crystal it's got that just that electric cobalt blue appearance which is absolutely stunning it has that white appearance but the best thing about lapis is that it has pyrite running all through it so all the gold that you would see on this crystal is pyrite and it has a lot in it especially on this side right here super super stunning i love lapis i think it's a beautiful beautiful crystal because i love that bright blue and i love any crystal that has pyrite in it so it's right up my alley and this is just the cutest little tower so yeah i'm in love with this one super super cute all right and next for one of those staple crystals the type that i feel like everyone has in their collection or you need because i mean this is just one of those staples and that is citrine okay you guys so i have two smoky 
citrine towers let's start with this one that gorgeous yellow appearance that citrine has i love it but not only do you get that yellow can you guys see the smokiness like that smoky gray hue super beautiful i hope you guys can see well i hope it's focusing well i can't tell there we go do you see that so it's not only has that beautiful yellow appearance but you have that smoky look in it really good clarity on this one too obviously look you guys can see straight through to my hand so it's super beautiful and then next we have a little bit of a taller one with a lot a lot of smoke um you can see the yellowish the yellow like more in person with this one um it doesn't have as much yellow this is a lot of that gorgeous smoky appearance and this one is like i said a little taller but it's so gorgeous Take a look at that but i feel like citrine is obviously a classic crystal that is like one of the beginner crystals i feel like everyone should have in their collection of course it is hard a lot of the times because on the market they do sell you know fakes quite often and really the main fake is not even fake at all it's just amethyst it is extremely heat treated like when you see a lot of the raw specimens and even even polished and that's going to be like a much brighter yellow and you're going to see white and kind of stuff like that um you can always google it or i actually have been doing kind of like a fake series i started with how to spot fake malachi i need to do one on citrine but that's that on that next i just this one i love it this is the fossil i have for this week's update this one I'm literally obsessed with because it's so cool. I love it. And that is Orthoceris. So this is an Orthoceris fossil. Here is like the full Orthoceris piece on this fossil right here. It'll focus. Come on. All right, can you guys see it? So that's like the full Orthoceris piece right here. But not only does it have like the full one, there's the beginnings of one up here. There's beginnings of one down here. If it's focusing, you can also on the rough part, see it on the back. I just love the shape of them and then like the way it looks. I have had ammonites in my shop before and those are really, really cool creatures and they are sea creatures that were around when the dinosaurs were around. Well, the same is for Orthoceris. They were around way back in the prehistoric age and they are of course extinct now. They're a mollusk, they're part of the mollusk family. And yeah, they're just really, really, really cool. And I love that fossil a lot. And next I have some more hearts to show you guys. I actually have four starting with the littlest one right here. It is Ocean Jasper. So whenever I get the chance to get any Ocean Jasper, just because I'm extremely drawn to Ocean, Ocean Jasper recently, I always get it. Like I love Ocean Jasper and Ocean Jasper too, by the way, is just, it's just so diverse. There's so many different types. And this one is orbs, like has a lot of orbs, like orbicular. Um, ocean jasper if you get it up like really close and i'm pretty sure you probably you guys could tell from the other little clip of me showing you you can see all of the little orbs it's really cool because that's just how you know obviously that's how it just went in mother nature that's how that's how it grew with like tons of little orbs and i just find that fascinating so love ocean jasper it's gorgeous obviously there's different types of ocean jasper so the ones where you can see the orbs like this one some where you can't but i just think that it is really cool and an awesome stone and next i have three crazy lace agate hearts they're like smaller hearts but they're chunky and i'm obsessed with it i love chunky hearts so the first one looks like this. I love Crazy Lace Agate because I feel like it's just like so unique. And by unique, I mean like you get a lot of just different color ranges with like the individual piece. So here is one of them. I think it's just so pretty. I have a couple of Crazy Lace Agate hearts in my personal collection too. And I just love the chunkiness of these even better than the ones in my personal collection, honestly. Here's the second one. This one has a lot more of those lighter tones. You can see the agate banding at the top. There we go. Now it's into focus. See, look at that. So pretty. Creamy, white, vanilla-y, yellow color. Super gorgeous. That's another one of them. And then finally we have this one that's more on the gray 
scale with yellow super beautiful and they always have a lot going on too um in the individual piece i feel like crazy lace agate just has a lot going on so there we go there's that one all right you guys and now to my very first ever premium point 925 sterling silver crystal rings i have four in i have two in natural malachite so that is not ma man-made of course like i said um like i kind of briefly mentioned earlier malachite is one that is often duped as in man-made quite a bit um because malachite's a pretty spendier crystal kind of in a way most is and it's just often you know often cloned it's often man-made and faked but these are natural malachite then i have purple fluorite and rose quartz so i'm gonna go ahead and start with the malachite so here's the first malachite ring that beautiful green i'm just gonna get up close you can see the dark green with it as well i'm getting i'm doing my nails tomorrow so that they can look good for the product picks but now you're just getting plain nails i was already getting them ready i took the polish off but so you'll have to ignore that but this beautiful light green and dark green combo with the sterling silver and the little patterns on each side the kind of little swirly patterns if you can see what I love about these two is that they are adjustable so if you don't know your ring size maybe your hand fluctuates in sizes or like your fingers swell and unswell like with the weather or maybe you just like to wear your rings on different fingers as I do these are adjustable so that's like the greatest thing about them I feel like other than the fact that they are 0.925 stamped sterling silver because like I don't wear anything if it's not real like if it's not real sterling silver if it's not real gold then I won't wear it because it turns my finger green and it tarnishes but this will not so that was the first malachite now here is the second one you can see the pattern here is obviously different but equally as beautiful a lot of that dark green and the light green of course the swirly silver pattern on the sides super cute and i am obsessed next we're gonna have fluorite so this one's a bit bigger i really do like big rings a whole lot so this one's a bit bigger this is pale purple fluorite so just purple fluorite i just said pale purple that's my own little add to it because it is a more lavender which i love and you can definitely in person, I don't know if you can see on camera, but barely see like the purple, the stripes of the fluoride in there. I said fluoride, I meant fluorite. <laughs> and then here's like the design of the silver on the rings or on the ring side. So super beautiful. And finally is the gorgeous rose quartz. You guys know I love rose quartz probably if you're used to my videos because of my shop name being Rose and Quartz, a play on rose quartz. By the way, my shop name is www.roseandquartz.bigcartel.com. But yeah, and then here is the rose quartz one. So it's a big chunky ring. Absolutely love it. Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. Gorgeous pink, almost said purple. Here it is. I have them all sized right now to a size seven, but like I said, they're adjustable. They can go up or down. Super big, chunky, and pretty. Yeah, and that is the Rose Quartz one. And that is it, you guys, for this crystal unboxing haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave. You can do that by hitting my face right up there. And you can watch another one of my videos by clicking right over there. And like I said, it would mean the world to me if you guys would do so. And other than that, I hope you have a great day or night or whenever you may be watching this. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!